also valid. There is mainstream Islam. There are things that are universally accepted within Islam. For example, the gentleman brought up the idea of, of, of drinking, of doing drugs, you know. Those things are prohibited within Islam. I can choose not to do them, or I can. But for me to go out and say, I'm a Muslim and I drink and that should be accepted, that's not religion. That's yeah, not you you're you're, you're conflating. You're conflating choice and how somebody is without choice. That first of all, he was born the way he is, and I'm sure he can speak for himself. What I would like to say to you is, many, many Muslims would consider you sinful for not covering your face and would insist that you're sinful and you can't be a Muslim for showing your face and not wearing the jilbab, the long gown. So at the end of the day, this is all interpreted. No, no, no. And just no, as you've got the no, right... In fact, they'd also... No, no, no. Please, let me, let me respond described. to you, please. No, because you're going into all no, no, sorts of... No, no, no. talking about now. interpretation. Can I just finish my point? Go ahead, go They would ahead. also say that you shouldn't be speaking in front of men, you shouldn't be on television. Oh, come there on. are literalists who argue that, that too. We know that because they're in power. Let's just go back to... Uh, Safiya says, is wearing niqab an obligation or a voluntary act? And what are the evidences from the Quran and Sunnah as why to wear the niqab? Niqab is what is known as a face veil. So whatever a woman wears on her face, this veil with an opening for the eyes, this is called niqab. And it's called niqab because of the opening of the eyes. It's naqb, which is a hole. And this is an obligation according to the most authentic opinion of scholars. Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Quran in chapter 33. Surah Al-Ahzab. In verse 53, he orders the mothers of the believers who are the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, to communicate with companions of the Prophet from behind a hijab. And the consensus of all scholars of Muslims that all wives of the Prophet ﷺ must cover their faces. There's no difference of opinion of, uh, uh, upon them or among them. All wives of the Prophet ﷺ must cover their faces. And this ayah 53, it, whenever you ask for utensils from them, ask from behind a screen. This is purer for your hearts and their hearts. So, so this is this is total segregation. You cannot see the wives of the Prophet ﷺ faces. This is verse 53. Now, having this at the back of your mind and moving six verses later from the same surah, Allah says in verse 59, Ya ayyuha al nabi O Prophet of Allah, قُلْ لِأَزْوَاجِكَ وَبَنَاتِكَ وَنِسَاءِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Command your wives, your daughters, and the women of the Muslims. يُدِنِينَ عَلَيْهِنَّ مِنْ جَلَابِيبِهِنْ To lower down from their garments. ذَلِكَ أَدْنَا أَنْ يُعْرَفْنَا فَلَا يُؤْذَيْنَ This is more befitting that they are not recognized so that they are not harassed. Now, in this ayah, the command is for three types of women to lower their garments so that they're not identified. So the wives of the Prophet, the daughters of the Prophet, the women of the Muslims, three types. Now, if you compare this ayah to verse 53, where it commands the wives of the Prophet to cover their faces. If you come and compare this ayah to this ayah, the command in this ayah is for what? To cover their faces. 
But in addition for the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, Allah included the daughters and the women of the Muslims. Which means that they as well should cover their faces as mentioned in ayat 53 because the mothers of the believers are joint with them in this command in ayah 59. And there are a lot of other evidences mentioned in the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, which is logical. But before it's logical, it is the ruling of the Quran and the sunnah according to the most authentic opinion of scholars. Why do we say logical? The face of a woman, as they say, is her identity. If her identity is open to all, this is what includes features of beauty. This is when she smiles or frowns. This is where expressions happen. And if this is exposed, then those with illnesses in their hearts will be surely tempted.